Hey, what's going on, fellow currency collectors? Let's jump right into a bill search video here on the channel. Um, I got kind of a mix of stuff over the last uh, week or so, a few days. So let's see if we find anything worth more than face value. Super beat up $1 note series 2003A. So it's a bit older. We normally see 2013 to 17. Nothing really jumping out on the front. It's also real thinned out from water damage. Nothing to talk about graphics-wise. Ones have not been changed in close to 70 years at this point. Good repetitions of 5, 7s, 9s, but nothing pattern-wise for a fancy serial number in the 2017 A1 uh, here. Little bit of a shift in the seals on the right-hand side there, seal, down into the left. But if it's still sitting atop the word 1, then you're good to go. This one's got some damage to it. So if it had something collectible, it'd be hard to tell. I like to look at the seals depicted on the back of the note. See if there's anything up with the kind of intricate line work that they've done on the seals. 2017A. This one's a lot better condition. Uh, so it's probably been in circulation less life. A little bit of repetition in the serial number, uh, but it's not a fancy serial number. Let's look at the reverse of the note. A little bit of a wet ink transfer there. It looks kind of like a thumbprint down at the bottom here. Uh, but unless it's like, I, I've had a couple people send me photos where you can straight up like see Washington transferred over. That is a great note. I would hold on to that. But little wet ink transfers like this one are not going to be worth really just anything extra. Little bit of three action in there, but printed appropriately as far as the ink and stuff is concerned. Little bit of a smear right here, but it's probably... Post-production is what it looks like. Some stuff is printed in the bill. Some stuff's printed on the bill. Uh, so there's different kinds of misprints to look for. And some you're going to have to put under a scope. I get people uh, sending me photos and stuff, which is great. I love trying to help out. I can do the best I can with a photo. Uh, but in the end, some stuff you're going to have to look through a microscope to really determine what it is or if it's an error at all. Uh, because sometimes a picture you're just looking at, it's not going to help. Nothing really on the back. Little wet ink transfer on this one, too. But that's pretty common. And then what looks to be just like some damage up here at the top or where the machine that counts the notes at the bank has grabbed it and kind of left a mark there. Let's see. Nice little $10 note. 2017 series. Triple sevens on the end, which is kind of cool. Probably the most valuable note I've ever sold had four sevens in the middle and two sets of zeros on either side. So it was like a block repeater, as well as a binary note, as well as a bookends note, as well as a radar note. So it sold for like almost $200. It was a $20 note, so that was pretty cool. If I was smart, I would have got it graded, but this is back in the day. Nothing jumping out on that one on the front of the back. 2009 series, so no difference in the two as far as graphics are concerned. They redesigned tens in the early 2000s to combat counterfeiting, since fives and tens are the most counterfeited U.S. Uh, currency, or denominations of U.S. currency, rather. Damage up here, that's not a misprint. $20 note, 2017 A also. This one's really a uh, pretty good condition overall. Nothing super jumping out there. Little bit of excess ink, but that's just normal from wet ink transfer and the printing process. Super beat up $1 note. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, kind of get us a closer look. There we go. So water damage to this one, you can tell from the wrinkling on it as well as the discoloration. And then, of course, it's just beat up in general. So if there was something uh, collectible with it, that condition problem would be a huge detractor in value. And nothing on the back there. Holy overink. Kind of a double year note if you want to take a stretch, 1222, 1372. Um, and then it's also a date note, December 22nd, 1372. Um, I mean, I'll look it up, see if something really cool happened on that date, but the U.S. was not even a country then, so 
Uh, it's a little hard pressed as far as date notes are concerned. But what a heavy over ink on the two there. Let's bring it closer. I wish the note wasn't so beat up, but you can see how much excess ink was laid down on that. Uh, they're more of a collectible thing than super valuable, in my opinion. I like over inks and stamp notes and stuff, so I like to hold on to them, especially when they're heavy like this one. Uh, but I'm not saying they're worth, like, tons of money. Maybe if this one was in really good condition to the right collector, it might be worth five, ten bucks or something. Uh, but then again, I highly stressed right collector, uh, because it's not going to just be something, you know, you're going to throw on eBay and get a ton of money for. Bunch of damage to this $5 note. It doesn't even sit straight when you hold it. It's all bent up, but it's worth five bucks. Front of the note doesn't have anything on it that I see jumping out. Back of the note. Real damage been folded and folded and folded, so nothing crazy there. Another $20 note. 2013 series, so no difference in this one than the other ones, you know, other one we've seen, uh, except for signatures on the note. And nothing crazy. I do like to look around the kind of color changing ink they have going on on the little eagle and shield here, as well as the 20. Sometimes you'll get some uh, kind of wet ink, or I'm sorry, some uh, misprint stuff in the ink. Little excess of a bank stamp there. Nothing too crazy jumping off the front of this $5 note. Back of the note, nice and wrinkled and beat up. Lincoln Memorial, really cool place to visit. It's a lot larger than you think it is. The actual, like, Lincoln himself, the statue, is, like, gargantuan. Uh, so check it out if you ever get a chance to visit Washington and do that. Nothing jumping out on the back, so nothing too crazy in this bill search. I'm going to hold on to this little over-ink $1 note. I don't think it's really worth a ton of value, if any, but it's kind of cool in my opinion. And, hey, that's what's great about any hobby of collecting. You kind of just keep what kind of jumps out to you. Speaking of which, let me know what you've come across in your coin and bill searches lately in the comments below. I love discussing that stuff with you guys. Keep sending me emails. Uh, my email's on the main channel page and on my website, varietyairs.com, which has been updated with a ton of new uh, price information on coins for free. So the best price ever. Check out varietyairs.com. I will see you in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.